Today we show you how to sort through that sea of UV sterilizers, meaning get the right tool for the right job the first time, solve, or even better, prevent some common reefer challenges, and save yourself some cash, all in five minutes or less. Hey, this is Ryan with BRS TV's five minute guide mini series on UV sterilizers. This is direct answers to the most common UV questions because information should never be a barrier. This week we share with you how to pick the right UV the first time. There are two main manufacturers today's reefers use, Pentair and Aqua Ultraviolet. While they look the same, they're actually very different. If you're in the market for UV sterilizers, you'll wanna watch and understand which one serves you best not just because we all want to get the right tool, but we also want to get the best performance from that tool. When I first started the hobby, there was a lot of debate on UV sterilizers, and even though UV has been widely used in aquaculture facilities, aquatic wholesalers, public aquariums, and many local fish stores, basically every professional area of aquatic care, it's not been super common in home aquaria and our reef tanks. All that's changed in recent years, not because the equipment or results have changed, but because the knowledge that professionals use to achieve results is now more accessible and easy to implement at home. Not only that, but longer success rates and investments in our tanks makes investments in protecting that success more reasonable as well. The first step in that, of course, is getting the right tool. Again, the most popular manufacturers of UV sterilizers in reef aquaria are Aqua Ultraviolet and Pentair. The best way I could describe the differences is Pentair units are larger commercial size units, more specific insulation and use guidance for specific applications, throwing double the dose of UV when used for applications like fish disease. They also cost slightly more. The Pentair sterilizers have very precise instructions for the intended use. However, their larger size may be prohibitive factor in many insulations. In contrast to that, the Aqua Ultraviolet units have slightly less aggressive UV doses and easier to implement broad approach to sterilization. In turn, the Aqua Ultraviolet units are smaller, easier to install, and somewhat more affordable. Net result is balancing the realities of the home reefer and installation on a standard size aquarium, often with a filtration and sump installed underneath the tank. As to sizing the unit and how many watts to get for your tank, I think it's wise to use the sizing requirements the manufacturer offers, meaning Pentair states a 25 watt unit is good for up to 130 gallons. The Aqua Ultraviolet unit says their 25 watt unit is good up to 150 gallons, which is pretty similar. I don't think it's necessary in most cases, but there may be some benefit to going larger. That said, I'd never go smaller. In fact, I think I'd just skip it all together before I went smaller than the recommended range because it simply won't work. That said, there are differences in the approach between the two brands, and it's wise to consider what you're using the sterilizer for when selecting one. Most of this is in the suggested contact time, or UV dose rates and flow rates. The most important component is rather than guessing, make sure to use the suggested flow rates they give you for the intended purpose, which is generally slower for fish parasites or faster for bacterial and algae control. Aqua Ultraviolet takes a more generalized, easy to implement approach with a 25 watt unit suggesting a flow rate or tank turnover of about two and a half times an hour or 400 gallons an hour on a 150 gallon tank. This is a bit reef geeky, but that produces a UV dose of about 90,000 milliwatts per square centimeter, which they state is the most effective at controlling fish disease. The UV dose is a deeper consideration than most hobbyists will think about all this, but if you stay with me a minute, you'll be approaching UV in a much more formed approach, and because of that, a more effective one as well. However, if your primary concern is controlling or preventing bacterial or algae outbreaks, which can be sterilized with a lower UV dose, but have much faster reproductive processes, a faster flow rate and a faster tank turnover is ideal. Using the same 25 watt sterilizer, they suggest about eight times tank turnover or 1200 gallons an hour on that same 150 gallon tank, which processes the water much more frequently at a lower UV dose of about 30,000 milliwatts per square centimeter a matte solution for the bacteria and algae goal. As a larger footprint commercial unit, Pentair takes a bit more aggressive approach. They provide specific data to both approaches on bacterial and parasites. However, rather than 90,000 milliwatts for fish and protozoa or fish parasites, they suggest double the dose at 180,000 milliwatts per square centimeter. They achieve that with the same 25 watt sterilizer using a much larger body size, which increases contact time and a much slower flow rate of just half to one times tank turnover or 79 gallons an hour on a 130 gallon tank. That slower flow rate effective on parasites that often have reproductive cycles that last days to weeks. 
Pentair also provides flow rates for algae and bacterial issues in that same dose of 30,000 milliwatts. In this case, the tank turnover, three and a half to five times turnover, or 472 gallons an hour on a 130 gallon tank. Meaning most of the water in the tank is sterilized every 15 to 20 minutes. Increasing how frequently most of the tank's water is sterilized for bacteria and the algae purpose is important because in the right conditions, an organism like bacteria may be able to replicate itself every 20 minutes, and a single bacteria could reproduce to millions within seven hours. Anyone who's seen how fast cyano or dinos can take over a surface already knows how fast bacteria and some algae can replicate. Increased turnover is beneficial. So there are some differences between how Pentair and Aqua UV approach reef tanks and UV, mostly closely related to the physical size of the unit, as to which one's right for you, I don't believe one should necessarily be considered better than the other. There are a lot of variables, but each has its own clear advantages. Simply put though, if you can fit it, the Pentair is the most aggressive design and what I typically use. However, when physical size is a challenge, the Aqua Ultraviolet may be more realistic when it comes to installing under or behind a tank. In the end, most of us just pick the best available design that fits our budget and spatial needs, and one of these will achieve that. In either case, I would follow the suggested sizing and flow rates by the manufacturer. It's probably unnecessary, but you can go larger if you want, but smaller, a total waste of time and money. The next obvious question is how do you plumb and install a sterilizer that's our next episode in the 5 Minute Guide mini-series, so click that to see when it comes out and see all of the other UV episodes and questions answered.